Hi, I'm Kevin Higgins, and I'm a senior cloud infrastructure architect, part of the AWS professional services team. Today, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of the newly released feature of the AWS managed Active Directory, cross-account, cross-VPC sharing. Let's dive in. AWS managed Microsoft Active Directory is our fully managed key feature that was one of the core initiatives to help our customers accelerate their migrations of Windows workloads into AWS. Cross-account, cross-VPC sharing integrates directly with AWS organizations and makes it easier to share your directory with accounts within your organization and externally. Previously, customers could not domain join EC2 instances from multiple accounts and VPCs seamlessly to a single AWS managed Active Directory. You had to deploy managed Active Directory in each account and VPC or manually domain join the EC2 instances to the directory. This, of course, increased the complexity and management, making it more difficult and time consuming to deploy directory aware workloads into AWS. We now made it possible for our customers to share a single directory with multiple AWS accounts using the directory services console or API. Directory service sharing works at the account level, which also makes the directory visible to all VPCs within the accounts to which the directory has been shared. To domain join EC2 instances to the directory seamlessly, you must also establish network connectivity between the VPCs where they are deployed. Once you share your AWS managed AD directory with another AWS account, you can use the Amazon EC2 console or AWS Systems Manager to seamlessly join your instance from any AWS VPC within the same account and selected region. You can quickly deploy your directory aware workloads on EC2 instances, eliminating the need to manually join the instances to a domain or to deploy directories in each account and VPC. With that said, let's jump into the accounts demo and we can show you how this can be accomplished. In this example, we're going to share an existing directory with our sub accounts. In the directory services console, you'll see a list of available directories. In this example, we're going to use the one indicated on the screen here. We'll scroll down to the option of sharing directories with our sub-accounts here. The option is called Create New Shared Directory. We'll select this option. It'll load us to the following screen. You'll have two options. You can share this directory with organizational accounts, or you can share it with external accounts. They just need to reside within the same region. For this example, we're going to select the option to share the account with our organizational accounts. That'll load the existing account structure. Select the accounts you wish to share the directory with. Hit Add. It'll populate the selected accounts below, and then select Share. At this stage, you'll receive this confirmation message indicating that the directory has been successfully shared inside your organization. You've completed the process, and the account is now shared. Great, so we covered the benefits of this newly released feature, and I hope you can take advantage of it. Thanks for watching.